Thank you, Mr. Speaker. And uh, I, too, join uh, with the President of the Treasury Board and rise to pay tribute to an extraordinary public servant who dedicated his entire professional working life to help make Canada a better place and to offer my deepest condolences on the passing of Auditor General Michael Ferguson, who succumbed to cancer and passed away this past Saturday, surrounded by his family. Michael Ferguson had a distinguished career serving the province of New Brunswick in several senior roles prior to being appointed Auditor General of Canada in 2011 by Prime Minister Stephen Harper. Michael Ferguson quickly established his reputation for tough, thorough audits. He never shied away from bringing failures of government departments and agencies of successive governments to Parliament's attention. When Michael Ferguson appeared as a witness at a committee meeting, Canadians knew that a very bright light was about to be shone into the corners of their government and that accountability would be demanded. He made no attempt to sugarcoat the facts. His reports and committee testimony were delivered without passion or rhetoric. The strong terms he used to describe failures of government were always presented factually. And he was never afraid to be exact and precise, regardless of the topic or the subject or possible consequences for the government of the day. He leaves a legacy of forcing governments and indeed all public servants to constantly improve in order to serve Canadians. He will be missed by the thousands of public servants from across Canada who want to deliver the best service that they can to Canadians. He will be missed by the dedicated staff at the Office of the Auditor General. And he will be missed by all parliamentarians, and in particular by my colleagues from the Standing Committee on Public Accounts. He will be missed by all Canadians who demand accountability from their government. To his wife and his sons, I extend my deepest sympathies and on behalf of the Conservative opposition, our condolences, our thoughts, and our prayers are with you. Well done.